All right, so set up some cameras here. I got this switch. This is a 10-100 base BOE switch with a AFAT long distance, which I'm not going to use, but it has enough power for a few APs if you want, though it's only a 100 base on this model. So take all this out. I've got a standard power cable here. Pretty much all of these switches I've bought use the same kind of power cable, the same kind that goes into the PC power supply. Put that in here. And I've got my tablet up with my NVR, so grounding. Just got a single light for power. There's a switch for extended mode if you need that, but I'm going to keep it on normal mode. And I guess there's a light that goes on when you put extended on. Okay. Two trunk ports, four PoE ports, and uh, it, says, it says 78 watts on this model, which is fine. Nothing's going to draw even like 10, so. Do a little accessory pack. There's two of these brackets that must so you can you can mount it onto something like a cabinet. It has one back set as well. So that gives you some options. And uh, let's see here. Sticky feet. I'll put those on later. Maybe I'm probably just going to keep it upright on the desk, so I don't even need that. There are vents on both sides, so that should be fine. I'll just. I'll just keep it like that in the cabinet. So I'm going to use this with cameras, and I've already got them here with a pretty simple NVR. So you do have the two turn ports, 1000. Um, this is also 1000, the first four PoE. So that's what you plug your uh, cameras or other devices into. If you're going to plug in WAPS, you should probably you get a gigabit model. But cameras don't need, they, they don't even need like 10 base really, most cameras. Even the 2.5Ks might, might not even use all the 10, so 100 is fine. Especially for only 3 or 4 cameras. So I'm going to plug my uh, router in here. I've got my bench. And then this port is uh, another trunk port, and you can plug this into another switch, or you can plug this into what I'm going to do is a network video recorder. And I still have one more port for uh, another camera. So pretty simple, power and then power for each PoE and then it shows the link activity. So my cameras are booting up. I can see there's activity at the switch there. And then my uh, NVR should come up any second now. Oh yeah, there it goes. What about, what about number one? I'll probably still booting up, but it looks fine. And go ahead and put these on. We go. I don't know what's going on with my first camera. Probably the video recorder is not not doing what it should. There, there, it booted up. Cool. Very simple.